I'm passionate. By passionate, you must show your eagerness, your desire to perform. Once I joined the team and I stood in the ring, I felt a connection to the sport. I really think this fits my skill level and I've got the strength to pull it off. And I can tell it's never going to go away. My family's all hearing. I'm the only deaf member of my family. I have two sisters, an older sister and a younger sister. I'm the middle child. I went to the Kendall School for elementary to eighth grade. I then attended the Model Secondary School for the Deaf. There, I played football, baseball, and basketball. I'm a very dedicated athlete in all sports. Before I made my college decision, I looked around, but I saw NTID's advertisement online. And my parents suggested we come to an open house. We spent the day here and I thought, this is a good fit, this is a good fit for me. And I was accepted as a student and I've been here ever since. I came here for the education and for the deaf community. Really, technical education with the deaf community has kept me a happy person here. So I'm very structured. For example, this week, I get up and exercise first thing, then I go have breakfast, and then I go to class. Grab some lunch, do some studying, go back to class and then I go to throwing practice. In my third year, I thought I would join track. I hadn't joined it before, I had no experience, and I thought, you know what? I wanna go ahead and join track. I'm gonna do this. I hadn't experienced it as an undergrad before now, and I really enjoy it a lot. Really, it's my passion. I love doing it, I love competing. I really enjoy the team. My coach, Sonia Fitzwalters and I, we kind of joke around with each other. At the same time, we have a level of respect for one another. She spent some time giving me feedback. For the most part, we have a very positive relationship. At the Brockport Invitational, I want a personal record for my throw. My goal was to throw 13 meters, maybe 14 or 15, who knows? But it's important that I feel the confidence that I can achieve 13 meters at least. I would tell aspiring athletes that if you have goals, that you must start pursuing them now. You must train and practice now. You can't put that off. So I'd encourage all deaf athletes, look at your potential. And the thing that's key is good personal time management and having a steady routine day in, day out. This helps me manage all these competing needs. You should listen, have an open mind, know that you can do it. I would be very encouraging on them that they can do it if they desire to.